A real-world science experiment has emerged from the stay-at-home orders surrounding the COVID-19-causing virus. There, there is less pollution in the air if you have less traffic. Gabby Fister is an atmospheric scientist with NCAR. She has seen the satellite photos that show a huge reduction in nitrogen dioxide, or NO2, over places like China, Italy, and France. But she urges caution in drawing conclusions from a single moment in time. When you look at satellite data, satellites cannot really get a measurement when there are clouds. Fister says that weather conditions along with specific traffic counts need to be included in a longer time frame to tell the true impacts of the COVID-19 shutdown. Her colleague Frank Flock agrees and says that more information will be needed to imply air quality improvements to the Denver area. If you look at some of the air quality monitors that are close to the highway, you see a small reduction, but not a very massive reduction. They say that the NO2 content on the front range is not high enough to violate EPA standards by itself. Our big pollution problem here is ground ozone, which is created when the sunlight bakes the gases like NO2. And the springtime is typically when the air quality is best along the Colorado front range. The, the days are too short and there's not enough sunshine to make, uh, you know, significant amounts of ozone this time of year. Summer is when we get our worst air quality days on the front range. Fister says that we would likely see a more noticeable change in air quality at that time, but would rather this situation be over by then. Yeah, it's not really an experiment I wanted to have, to be honest, and I don't think any of us wanted to have that. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.